For this video, I'm going to be drawing or trying to teach you a few of the neck muscles. And the main ones are the sternocleidomastoid and the scalenes, of which there are three. I'm using the uh, bony landmarks that I drew in the last video, if you make sure you watch that one as well. Um, also makes a great Halloween costume, so he's off out after this. So first one I'm going to draw is sternocleidomastoid. If you get your client to look away and also lift their head up, you'll see that muscle. It's really strong muscle of the neck. Now it has two attachments down here, skinny attachment and can you see the whole width of the muscle and relax for me there, brilliant. I don't want to get him holding that in too long. So sternocleidomastoid has three sections to it. Sternal part is this tendon that attaches onto the top of the sternum from the last video. Hopefully you know that's the manubrium. And then the clido part is the clavicular part. So that's the skinny tendon part and then it has a thicker part on this side. Now these two attachments will go up to the back of the ear. Now I'm just gonna draw that little bit on there. No surprise. This is part of the temple bone, but that area, it's a lumpy bit, just behind your ear. It's called the mastoid process. So sterno, clido, mastoid. Quite an easy muscle to learn when you know the bony landmarks. Okay. Good. So you've got two of those, one either side, um, and they help with lateral flexion, when one works on its own, it, it's involved with rotation. When both work, you've got also got flexion. So that's the first muscle. Now it's quite hard to draw the next set of three because they lie deeper and underneath this muscle here. But these are the scalenes. So the first scalene is called the anterior scalene. It attaches to the anterior transverse processes of ribs three, uh, sorry, of C, three to C6, but it comes from rib number one. So rib number one, can you see it curving around there underneath the clavicle? So the attachment is from this rib. So first rib, so I'm just gonna draw it like so. That's one end of it. And then the other end is gonna go up the neck to cervical three, four, five, six, which as I say, it's quite hard to draw, but it kind of disappears underneath there. And if I was drawing a dotted line, it would be to C3, 4, 5 and 6. So the green one is all we can see of anterior scalene. Now if I draw with orange, middle scalene. And this is also has an attachment of rib number one. So it lies next to it. And the attachment is C two to C seven. So C two is quite high up in here. C seven is the most prominent cervical vertebra of your neck. But it's really hard to draw in 3D when you're just drawing on the skin. So the imp oh, excuse me. So the important bit here is it comes from rib number one and it attaches to C seven, which is low down, C six, five, four, three, two. And the last scalene muscle we'll draw in, what shall we draw, blue, comes from rib number two, which we can see sticking out here. Okay, and this one is lower down and it goes to the posterior, the transverse processes of C7 and C6. So that's kind of cuts in this way. You can see with massage, if you're working on this area, there's a lot involved and it's very hard just to be working on one muscle. And do we ever really want to work on one muscle? So we're working on areas, but what this is doing is giving you an idea of the muscles that you are working on and the attachment points. So just to clarify, we have sternocleidomastoid. We have green is anterior scalene. We have orange, which is middle scalene. And we have blue, which is the posterior scalene. And just to show you on a real skeleton, just follow me this way. If we have a look here, you can see how the attachments of anterior and middle scalene would go here and posterior scalene would go from here. How they lie underneath the clavicle and getting it to massage, we would be working above the clavicle like so. Okay, so there's a few neck muscles go away and learn. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please press subscribe 
and I'll see you on the next one.